There was a play uh, in 1939 called Gaslighting, which uh, depicted how a husband completely manipulates his wife to make her believe that something is grossly wrong with her. And this led to this famous concept called Gaslighting, mm. which is kind of an abusive behavior. Mm. So I would like to ask, what is this behavior all about and why would one want to do this actually? Control. When somebody wants control, there are two ways of acquiring control. You are actually superior and you are capable and therefore you are in a position to control logically. Or you are not capable but you still want to control. Then the next best method is to make the other person appear, appear inferior. When you can't elevate yourself above the level of the person you are dealing with, you try to show this person as lower than where you currently are. And then it appears that you are superior, which gives you the logic to control. But you can always just be more dominating. Now, why do you need to manipulate this person to... to it this depends extent? on which society you are in. If you were in the Indian society at that point of time, male dominance was probably an acceptable norm. If you were in a so-called progressive society, which the Western world claimed at that time, then equality and human rights and all these factors came in and then you want to appear correct in the eyes of the society. So you can't be an outright dominant person. Then you have to show that I am superior and therefore you take instructions for me. But I am actually not superior, so I have to show that you are inferior. So I do all the manipulations to make it appear as if you are inferior. So I know what makes you annoyed, what makes you scared, what makes you um, jealous. So I know which button to press to get what kind of reaction from you. And when I start operating these triggers deliberately, that is manipulation. And I do this to show how I am superior to you. See, you got angry. Mm. I don't get angry. Mm. Mm. See, you got scared. What is there to be scared of? Mm. Mm. These things happen in life. Did I get scared? Same thing we are living through. You got scared, I didn't get scared. So I am superior to you. So these are manipulations done by devious minds. They are not honest minds. All these manipulations are taking place because of the inherent dishonesty in the person. In a relationship, if you are honest about it, be who you are. Exactly. You don't have to pretend to be someone you are not. And you don't have to show another person to be what he or she is not. Both cases are cases of dishonesty. Any manipulation has to happen through a sense of inferiority. It's an inferiority complex. That's why I manipulate. Why do I manipulate in an exam? Because I am inferior. But I want to show I am at least equal on par. Therefore, I copy in an examination or I cheat in an examination. So, all these are manipulations which come out of a sense of inferiority. So, all the person that is trying to gain out of the relationship is the control or the power over the other individual. So that's the first word I used. It's all about control. But at the same time, you are also destroying that person in front. So I don't care. Ha, exactly. <laughs> So, so you, you just don't care. Just so don't there care. is no love, there is no... But these people on the other hand, when they are in their so-called normal moods, will try and convince you, being very emotional, that look, I really didn't mean it, you know. I know I did that, I that shouldn't have done it. Exactly. That's also manipulation. When you're saying something which you don't mean, is also manipulation. So manipulation is your central theme. This mm. way or that, you're manipulating. So say someone has walked out of a relationship where he or she was gaslit and but at the same time internally some way they, they are kind of destroyed. So how do they pull themselves up to You're make now themselves normal? Transgressing into the realm of psychology. And it's a subject which people tend to avoid. Because the minute you say psychology, <laughs> there is a connotation that it's screwed. 
which is has not, lost it or which is not true hmm. yeah many people need psychological support propping up uh, motivation encouragement all those things traditionally in india we have this system called meditation and people misunderstand meditation as something to do with religion or something to do with uh, relaxation meditation is a technique of correction because if you have something embedded in your mind and you need to extract it it's like a painful tooth which you have to extract for getting relief so there is a painful subject embedded in your mind which is giving you recurring pain like that tooth hmm. till you extract that tooth the pain will continue to happen so till you extract that bad memory from your mind that memory is going to keep troubling keep you back. occasionally it may not be continuous but there will be occasions when you will be recalling those things and troubling yourself now how do i remove that that's the next question tooth very simple i go to a dentist and the dentist exactly. does the job how do i get this bad memory out of my mind so there are psychological uh, therapists who can assist you but there is no better therapist than you yourself true but to bring yourself pull yourself up let, in that let me state, conclude yeah. let me complete on this subject that first is identification that i have an issue yes accepting also that you have an issue i have a toothache there is no difficulty it's a physical pain and there is no difficulty in saying i have a toothache i am not going to touch my knee and say ye dukh raha hai kya no i have a toothache here on the right side mm. upper tooth so it is definite where the pain is this pain is not definite till i sit back and introspect ki pichle 3 4 5 10 saal mein mere sath kya hua what happened to me mm. so first is you have to accept that you were tortured abused mentally and you succumb to that mm. that's a very difficult part to accept mm. ki mai itni gullible thodi hu ki i mm. succumb to that mm. that mm. becomes your first resistance mm. your non acceptance that you were taken for a ride is your first resistance to usko pehle todna hai ki yes i was taken for a ride i was gullible enough to be taken for a ride sorry just to interrupt also the hurt if you have loved that person that's a consequence hurt is a consequence true but you are yeah. full of hurt that yeah so that's a consequence and maybe that hurt also blinds you mm. into thinking rationally because the hurt overpowers the logic yes yes most uh, often haan. yeah कि मैं दुखी आत्मा हूं एंड देर फोर आई एम रिफ्यूजिंग टू लुक एट द लॉजिक दैट वाई डिड आई बिकम दुखी बिकॉज दिस मैन वॉज अब्यूजिंग मी कंटिन्यूसली वेन आई रिफ्यूज टू लुक एट द लॉजिक एंड दैट्स वाई सेट दैट्स द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पार्ट आइडेंटिफाइंग दैट यू आर अब्यूज एंड यू आर अब्यूज एंड देर फोर यू आर कंडीशन इन टू बिलीविंग दैट यू आर लेसर देन वॉट यू एक्चुअली आर ओके वंस यू कम टू दैट पॉइंट now that is like a medical science once you come to the correct diagnosis then it is easy to prescribe the medicine mm. i have not diagnosed what is the reason for your ailment and i am prescribing medicines then it is hit and run true laga to laga nahi to dekhenge so first is diagnosis even in your mental case the diagnosis that i was abused and i need correction okay now i have identified i was abused by manipulation mm. it caused a lot of hurt which is a consequence and it also caused a semblance of semi permanent damage in the sense that i became a timid person i became a submissive person i became an introvert and i became a person who lost confidence yes once you have identified these things now how to reverse this and therefore i take you back to the technique of meditation meditation is a tool which is like erasing a blackboard on which some message has been written and rewriting a new message so your mind is a blackboard on which a message of negativity has been written through your 5 6 7 8 9 10 years of association mm. i need to first erase that mm. how do i erase that so first i have to deny whatever was happening with me yeah i was being told you are useless i was being told that you don't have any knowledge mm. i was being told that you are brainless i am i am told you are um, not efficient you're always wrong all the wrong things were told to me and that has got imprinted on my brain 
like the print on the blackboard. So first I have to erase that. How do I erase that? I take a duster and wipe the blackboard. So what is my duster of the mind? The duster of the mind is a replacement. Okay. So if a tube light is not working, I replace the tube light with a tube light that is working. Hmm. So what did I do? I removed the tube light which was not working and I put a tube light which is working. So what is in my mind which is not working? The negativity. For example, I am useless. Hmm. Is a concept that has been planted in my mind. So I need to keep telling myself I am extremely useful. I need to keep telling myself which means in my meditational practice I need to include an affirmation which says I am useful. Okay. Now this is a statement. What is the, the human mind always looks for logic. Mm. Without logic it doesn't accept a statement. Mm. So when you say I am useful, it's merely a statement. What is the backup logic? Then you find incidences where you have been useful to yourself and to people around you. And you buttress that statement with those examples. I am useful for my child, I am useful for my boss, I am useful for my parents, I am useful for my friend, I am useful in this area, I am useful in that area. I am sure you will find 25-30 incidences or qualities in you which prove that you are useful. So it's all inner... Uh... So it is wiping out the board Correct. that I am useless. That is written on the board, I am just rubbing it out by replacing it with whatever I feel I am useful at. So I am saying I am useful, I am useful and sometimes I will say I am useful. I can cook meals for the entire family single handedly. I am useful. I take care of the entire house, the cleanliness of the house. I am useful. I am managing my son's or daughter's education on my own. I am useful. So all these things will start penetrating your mind and slowly that I am useless will start fading away or getting di displaced. Now. This is the use of meditation which nobody teaches in meditational classes. Everybody talks of religion and spirituality. Correct. But there is a psychological benefit of meditation which is glossed over. Mm. And this can be practiced without the help of an outside person. You can do it yourself. It is called auto-hypnosis. I mean, if I have to use jargon, Correct. I can say auto-hypnosis. Auto -hypnosis, right. But it is a simple tool of replacing the negative with a positive. And how long do you think this process may uh, take? That will vary from the individual to individual depending on your willpower. If your willpower is strong that I want to heal myself, then it can happen quickly. It will also depend on your regularity of practice because if you do it on and off, it's not time hai, mood aya, kiya, nahi aya, nahi kiya, then it is going to take longer. And it will depend on your commitment. Are you committed to heal yourself? Many people say a lot of things, but there is no commitment behind it. And the simple example I normally give is, Chal, tujhe saath baje milta hon. But I come at 7.15. Toh 15 minute late aaya, kya bada bada? That means I am not committed. So this commitment is an important factor, which we in India take it very lightly. Our upbringing is such where, 10-15 minute se kya farak padda? Ek ek minute se farak padda. So are you committed to heal yourself? Then will you sit for your meditational practice every day for whatever time you have decided, 30 minutes, one hour, whatever time you decide. Are you committed to that? Nahi, aaj mood nahi, aaj 20 minute hi karungi. Haan, kal thoda relaxed ho, kal 45 minute karungi, fir ek ghanta karungi. Then the commitment is missing. So you're saying with this practice, any amount of scars, You can change memories, everything. Everything can be Everything, it's a laundry. Meditation is a laundry. Oh, detergents ke add zate na, kitchen mein kapda dala aur washing machine mein dal ke ek scoop is, is powder ka dalo, brand new kapda bahar nikalta hai. Hota hai. Karke dekho. Karke dekho. Don't believe me. Karke dekho. The proof of the pudding is in eating. Main aapko recipe likke dunga, you will not enjoy the pudding. Make the pudding and eat it. It works.